your sign of Virgo. This is Kim here to do your reading for you for your next 48 hours. So we're going to get started. As always, um, thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. If it's first time here, then thank you so much. Again, I hope you enjoy it. We always call in your spirit guides, your angels, your higher self, higher power to get messages that's for your greater good. Always to help you ascend and expand. That's the goal. This is the spell casting deck. I'm just I've just kind of started today and you were first and grab this deck. There's no real plan for this. And of course it can relate to you whenever. Um, they're always general readings. Everything I just kind of allow anything to anything positive to come in. Anything else? Anything else? Okay. Right. Justice. Okay, Virgo. So, justice card comes up. It can mean however the scales need to be balanced in your life. It can be about something you're facing right now where you're just needing to get to the bottom of something. You just need the truth in a matter. Um, it can be court. It can be anything related to justice system. It can be something that just has to do with some kind of errand that you have to run. It doesn't have to be anything really big. So ultimately, it's to even things out. It's to a place for the truth. Well, we say it's a place for the truth. That's what I think of when I think of the word justice. So could be dealing with a Libra too. We could have that because that is the energy. It's the energy of balance and partnerships and all kinds of things. Right, so Virgo, let's go a little further in your reading. Um, let's go to the tarot next and then we'll pull another card. I'm feeling like, well, actually, I'm feeling like this deck needs to be pulled next because this one is the power to surrender or the power of surrender. Like what, what you could um, choose to give up during this time or to let go of control of so that spirit can move things for you or that you can feel more like going in the flow, which is easier access to your vortex, right? All right. Power to surrender. Surrender to play. Oh, okay, and then surrender procrastination. And I've always heard that it's good to take a break whenever you find yourself procrastinating and get away from whatever it is that you're procrastinating on and then come back. And I think that's the message here too, is to take a break because there's something that you're procrastinating on that you will see a solution to when you step outside of the situation. So surrender to play, take a break from overthinking a goal, do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. Um, surrender or procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. Yeah, just make sure that you have play in there, that it's not all work, no play. Um, so, okay, so that's what I've got with, with justice. I think that should kind of help us a little bit more with your reading. I'll just do it one more time. I know I've been shuffling. <clears throat> All right. So what is the situation for our Virgos? General reading, please, Spirit. What's the situation? <laughs> okay. It's regarding a partnership. I was feeling partnership energy because of the scales right here. So it's regarding a partnership, possibly like twin flame energy or soulmate. I could say just soulmate energy. Also, it could be rep representing a time where maybe we're procrastinating to make a decision on what path we choose to go down. There, There's two paths. Um, you're at a crossroads. You can go either way. There's probably more than two paths. There's a crossroads, though, for sure. All right, Page of Swords is the energy. Okay, so do your research. Now is the time to do your research. 
Now is the time to get more information regarding what path to take or where you're going to go. Where you're going to go. It could be a child air sign. Okay, at the root of everything, or at the heart of this, we have the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is you, um, your courage. Whatever this has to do with, whatever this crossroads is that you're at, it's something that you've been on this, it's like you've been hiking on this trail for quite a long time. So you are a little bit guarded uh, on the issue. feels like there's this decision is like the truth representing the truth to you oh in the past which is funny that this is like this card shot over here it, they never go this way and what makes me think is that it's it's carried over energy from past to present the eight of pentacles for sure yeah, so something's going to work out the way that it did in the past. It's like, it's, I don't know if it's something different. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. This might have been alone, and maybe in the future there'll be a, cl a collaboration. Maybe you always done it alone, and so now this is why there's a big decision or something right here. Maybe being used to doing something by yourself. Okay, let's see what's the present energy and also the eight of pentacles i look at as accumulation too whoa <laughs> seriously that was crazy all right two of cups i do not know if that was upside down like if it was upright or upside down so we're definitely feeling the twos i'm in gemini energy of gemini too um, two cups right here. This is about how you're working well with another person. It, this could represent your true love card. So it could be just having to get along. Um, there's the truth, the ace of swords, allowing you to have a victory in something. And I feel like it has to do with this partnership. That I'm also noticing the beach on the card. You know, they, um, they're on the beach. It makes me think that vacationing things like that okay the near future energy is oh the star card of Aquarius look and it's landed on the nine of wands so this star is uh, representing something that you have been persisting to get to it's a like a lifelong dream or desire the stork here um, always reminds me of opportunities, big opportunities, or news of a birth or business like opportunity. There's something that is um, something that you get news of. This is representing your hopes, your desires, all of that um, coming manifest. It's very hopeful. And that's why I feel like working, the it's working out card is carried over to here too. Okay, so um, how do you feel? How does Virgo feel? Ooh. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Um, I don't think this is uh, bad. I think this is something that you've done before. It is a cup of love, uh, but it feels like a place that you've been before. Um, but at this time, a new experience doing something similar. Such as if you're talking, like example, if you have one kid and you're going to have news of getting a second kid, it could be the Ace of Cups in reverse in this sense. So that there's, it's not brand new beginning, but it is something really big, loving. So something that maybe you've tried or done before, but this time it's like new for you. In the situation around, all right, the Knight of Pentacles, it looks like the Four of Cups. Getting, um, being focused is going to be real, real important. 
um, because in your surrounding environment, you have the ability to feel bored eat too easily. So it's because the, the progress is so slow, but it is steady and it is reliable and it is trustworthy. It's showing up as that. So it's a good offer. Whatever's around you is showing up as like really solid. Don't miss this cup. This could be a cup that you could possibly miss if you don't pay attention right now since this is present time for this four of cups is like reminding us again, hey, this might be something that you've had before, but it's gonna be offered. It's something different. It's, it's gonna be something, something new, something different. All right, the hopes and fears. The moon in the reverse. If you have secrets, they would be coming out. So maybe there's a fear about that. Strength card on the bottom, Leo. Um, having bravery, courage, all um, is not as it seems still though, with the moon representing something being exposed that was hidden. All right, in the outcome, the projected outcome at least. Good, my card for success. The um, Six of Pentacles is my card for success. Also in court, because it does sometimes mean paying a lawyer and it is successful too, if that's your story. If that's not, then this is about a partnership being reciprocal. You see the balance is there, meaning um, give and take and equal give and take. And it's a very successful card. Look, and we have the new new beginning, the full card on the bottom. So it's a great reading. I couldn't have really asked for a better reading for you. So I'm going to get you some fairy dust cards. <laughs> Or Virgo, I'm going to close out your readings. Four leaf clovers, that's good. You have found a four leaf clover. Unlucky times will soon be over. Oh, I'm going to pull one of these because these are cards from the affirmators. It, it, it's affirmators, uh, affirmators. Okay, it, it is about relationships or for communication, partnerships. All right, wait and see. Thoughts love to wander into assumptions and we race ahead to the future. But what if I told you to just stay chill? Today you need to put your mental chatter on pause, take a breath and simply wait to see how things play out. Before you let your mind run a marathon of imagined scenarios. This is wait and you'll see that waiting and seeing was a lot more productive than wondering and worrying. So that's a good card. That's that's good information to have. Oh, that's nice. Okay, love. Before you can truly love another, you need to open your heart and allow yourself to receive love first. If you open your heart to love, it will flow into your soul. Joy lighten up find that hidden inner child and have a play date laugh be silly dance and sing it's time to have fun again all right and a fortune cookie and then and i'll close your reading achievement enjoy the limelight you've earned it although on the family front someone's health could cause some secret worries or sleepless nights and friendship, a friend needs your help, your kindness, and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. Thanks, Virgo. You have a nice day. Bye.